everyone, what is up? It's me, Chara Kirk, here on the Jabby Koei channel by myself. Um, because apparently some of you guys in the comment section... A lot of you guys! Thanks, Jabby. <laughs> For a, why don't you come in the video then? It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, apparently some of you guys or a lot of you guys were saying in the comments on Jabby's reaction to Kabir Singh, where's Achara? We want to see Achara's reaction. And so since uh, we aim to please here on the channel, uh, Jabby sat me down and was like, right Achara, you're going to watch this trailer. And I was more than happy to because I really like the teaser. So here we are. We're going to watch Kabir Singh starring Shahid Kapoor and Kiara Advani. It's directed by Sandeep Reddy Vanga and it comes out 21st June 2019, over a month away. Cool! I'm very excited for this actually. So, without further ado, let's press play on this baby. Please, please, uh oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh. 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 What's your cause, though? Wow. That was intense. You know what I really like about this trailer that they didn't show in the teaser is the love story aspect of it. Now, I am a sucker for a good love story, but I feel like the love story here is really compelling. And I think it has a lot to do with Shahid Kapoor's performance as well as Kiara Advani. Kiara Advani just has this really sweet, innocent look about her and I think it lends itself really well to this character because, you know, she comes across as, a, you know, a little shy, very innocent, very sweet, and then she's kind of becoming wrapped up in Kabir Singh, right? Because he's, he's handsome, he's charming, he's smart, he's talented, and he wants to take care of her. And I think for a young girl, you know, to kind of have that attention thrust on her, it can be extremely intoxicating. It just makes you feel special. Like, I don't know, I was just so drawn into the romance there, especially when he was like, when when she asked him, you know, what what do you like about me? And I've been there, 
you know, I've I've been there where I've I've asked a boyfriend like, you know, what, why do you like me? And then it always feels nice when they when they come back with something really sweet. But like, I like the way you breathe. Oh my god, <laughs> what is that? That's a that's a line and a half. My my my. That relationship is just so interesting because he is this extremely volatile character. Like even looking at the way he got mad at his maid for breaking a glass, like that's really not a big deal. It's a glass, like, okay, it sucks, but whatever, move on, just clean it up, don't cut yourself, don't hurt yourself, and uh, let's call it a day. But the fact that he's just got all of this pent up rage, it's interesting to see how, you know, the the other side of the coin flips, you know, because on the other side of that extreme anger, there's also just this extreme passion as well. And you can see how this character, I'm gonna use the word again, is really extreme in his expression of anger, in his expression of love. And that can be quite attractive. I mean, it's, it's kind of messed up, right? Because on the one hand, you kind of see the warning signs and you're like, don't do it. You know, don't do it. This guy is bad news. He's really angry. But on the other hand, you're like, but he's got all these great qualities and, you know, you just want to help him out. Maybe he'll improve. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like projecting my narrative onto this, but I just think that that's just such an interesting story and I feel like seeing that in the trailer makes me understand why he might be behaving the way he's behaving like resorting to lots of drink and drugs and just trying to numb the pain of losing her because if I remember correctly from looking at the synopsis of the movie she actually has is forced to marry someone else. So I mean, I mean, I can understand why he would resort to that. And once again, because he is such uh, an impassioned person, he kind of takes it to the extreme. Whereas maybe many of us would be sad for a few months and then be like, well, you know, she's moving on. I, I best move on with my life, but that's not what he's about. And I think that's what makes him so interesting because it is different, you know, that way of thinking is really different from a lot of us. I really like the music in this, and I, if I remember correctly, I think it was also used in the Arjun Reddy trailer. Like, it just really speaks to the character so well, because it's just very strong, and it kind of invokes that emotion in you of like, almost like rage, you know, with that like... <laughs> I really rate Shahid Kapoor as an actor. I think he's very talented and, I mean, also easy on the eyes. <laughs> so that's really nice as well. But it's very intriguing to me just the types of characters that he's drawn to playing. Like, I see parallels between this character and the Hamlet character that he played in Hader. The similarities being, like, they're, they're both kind of troubled people, but... Kabir Singh has such a, you know, he's got such a strong drive and he's very passionate and he's not kind of worrying about what he ought to do like Shahid Kapoor's character in Hader, you know, but they're both very troubled people and um, they both have their inner demons, I'm sure. It's just interesting to me that he's kind of drawn to playing these characters and he plays them so well because just looking at his face, the kind of minute reactions, the teeny tiny muscle reactions in his face, I buy it, you know, I buy that as being seething rage. It doesn't feel overplayed to me. It feels very real. And I think that's hard to do because a lot of the time when you're playing angry, you, you're you like, oh, I've got to be loud. I've got to be big. But while that may be true in some cases, anger is expressed in many different ways and it can be in just a look or in silence. I think that Shahid Kapoor is using all the different colors available to him to express the wide variety of emotions that this character is going through. 
And I'm really liking Kiara Advani as well. She's really bringing that character to life. And like I said before, that whole relationship between the two of them is really compelling to me. So I'm actually really, really excited to see this now because, you know, I can kind of get more of a sense of the whole character and the story. I do feel like maybe a lot was given away in the trailer, so I'm hoping that when I finally get around to watching the movie, there'll still be something left so that I can have a little bit of a surprise, maybe something unexpected. But it's just so interesting to see that kind of self-destructive spiral of this character and how deep he gets into his depression. It's almost like a morbid fascination with watching someone break down in the hopes that later on they're gonna pick themselves back up. And I mean, a part of me is like, well, maybe the story's gonna end up with him getting the girl, but I think realistically that's probably not gonna happen. And maybe he'll just learn how to, you know, take better care of himself and be a better person. But, you know, I'll find out when I watch the movie and I will definitely watch Arjun Reddy before watching this so that I can kind of compare and contrast because it, it's interesting because they're being released within two years of each other. It's just such a short span of time. Plus they're being directed, written and directed by the same person, Sandeep Reddy Vanga. So, you know, it's interesting to see how two different people tackle the same role and what kind of different nuances they bring to the character, but also how the same writer and director might want to make changes or what they want to keep the same, really. So that'll be very interesting, and especially with the two different languages and the two different cinemas, I guess you could call it, but you know, Telugu and Hindi. Bollywood. It'll be interesting to just kind of see the different takes or what remains the same. Anyway, those are all my thoughts. That was super exciting, guys. Um, thank you for, for <laughs> requesting that I watch this because I was kind of gutted that I missed watching it. So yeah, I'm super stoked about that. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, what do you think about my thoughts? Am I crazy? I don't know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Do click that notification bell so you know when we drop a video. And uh, yeah, let's hang out again soon. Check out our other reactions, reviews, interviews, among other things. I'm Achara Kirk. Ciao.